people deluded i'm back again now some quick pointers i hope you're all doing well this tuesday morning but just some quick pointers or things i've come across in regards to arsenal online and i thought i'd make a quick vid now let's start with david neres um, i'm sure all of you would know his name if you didn't by now Ajax winger, scored against, scored against Juventus, played very well against Real Madrid, um, making inroads in regards to the Brazil squad this season, made his debut and has actually scored for Brazil. And someone that's seen as someone that's got potential to make the step up to what level, I don't know. He's seen as someone that can be a good player for Brazil's national team. And obviously with that, no disrespect to Ajax, you'd think he'd be playing for a top European club eventually. 22 years of age. Allegedly, Arsenal are really interested in him. Forgive me for mispronouncing his name, but Nicolo Skira, I cannot say his name, is the journalist who said allegedly we're, we're really interested in the winger. He's expected to cost 35 to 40 million in the summer. And the scout will be at the Ajax versus Juventus game to further run the rule over him or assess him further. Allegedly, we've scouted him heavily. Um, not that it has much relevance, but if you um, follow all of these sort of Twitter journalists and people that talk about Arsenal news, like this is the same guy that spoke about us wanting um, Belair, um, um, well, I can't even say his name again, man, Barella. Um, so, yeah, if you think about it, I mean, 35 to 40 million. Allegedly, if we do make the Champions League, we'll have 70 million. If we don't, we'll have 50. Um, if we can get him for 35 in terms of add-ons and how we structure the payment and kind of get a centre half, then we can. Re it, it, it's doable. It's a stretch with a 50 to 70 pound million budget to sign a winger, to bring in a midfielder, to get what I would like in the centre half, possibly fullbacks on either side of some capacity. It's a big ox for 70 million. It doesn't go that far unless it's going to be a thing where you're going to get them lesser profiles or people have done their due diligence suit sort of thing to assess targets, man. But I'm all for him, man. He's a wide man, serious, serious player in my opinion. Obviously, the Youngs confirmed his move to Barcelona. Um, eventually, Delight, which they know he will leave in the summer, is going to move somewhere, whether that's Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Munich, every top European club will be interested in that man. Then you've obviously got a couple of other players that will probably get sold as well. Um, the keeper, I believe, can get a move as well. A couple of players, to be fair with you, and... It's really good for Ajax, in my opinion. They obviously got to the Europa League with a core base of these players a few years ago and lost to United. Obviously, they probably won't go to the final, but everybody's probably backing the underdogs in in, in Ajax to defeat Juventus and go through. And to be fair, they've put in a good account of themselves throughout the whole tournament. I'd also throw in some other points. Alleged, allegedly, um, Denis Suarez has a groin injury and he's not taking part in training. Allegedly, to kind of subsidise that um it that's being reported in the in the male sport Denis Suarez is being kept out of action due to a persistent groin injury Arsenal's physios have told Dennis to reduce his involvement in training to see if the inflammation subsidizes so maybe there's an underlying issue in regards to his fitness or whatever that that's just speculation I don't know if it's true but hopefully he gets better because we need all our players I know Torreira came off well was was came came off at half time and I did admit it did shock me it probably was tactical by Uno Emre, but there could have been an injury in there. Allegedly, he has a minor groin strain. Fingers crossed he's available for the Napoli game. Fingers crossed players like Koscielny, who was a big... Ch he got 90 minutes against Napoli and he got 90 minutes against Watford. And we're probably going to need him. He would start for me on the Thursday against Napoli. So it's going to be a big ask for a lot of the players, to be fair with you. And they're going to need to be at it. Final point as well, people. I just This is meant to be a separate vid, but we're here. We might as well speak about it. You lot know I like to watch players in it, like when I like a player at Arsenal, and I've got his notes here. Ivan Andiko, now he plays for Frankfurt, as you lot already know. Um, decent player, in my opinion. Does it wait? Is it, Fra is it Frank? Is it, is it Mines or Frankfurt? I always get them to. I don't know if I have a minor sort of injury with getting things mixed up, but I'm sure I'm sure it's not Mines. I've been watching, I've been watching Mines play because I like their fullback, De Costa. Um, but yeah, sorry, one sec, people. Yeah, he plays for Frankfurt. I knew I knew I was talking about. But I got a lot of time for him, man. 19 years of age. He's not the finished article. And I've watched a couple of his games. I feel the latest game, I believe, has been the latest game is against Augsburg. I think he was a bit so so. I think several of his teammates and him would could have probably did pointers better or played better. I think he's been superb this season, in my opinion. I feel he had a very good game in their victory against Stuttgart. And he showed, I think he can improve in terms of marking. But he showed there's there's something there. He he looked, their striker. 
striker, Stuttgart striker, he looked like he was given the task of man marking him and he did very well in that. Couple of incidences playing everybody on side, but he's 19, he stayed stuck to task, he intercepted when he could, he backed off when he could, and he's shown someone that can do a marking job. And for a young defender to be able to mark to that level and have that concentration is very positive for someone like me. Also, it was another game to see his passing range. I don't think he's someone that cowers from getting the ball off his keeper or his fellow teammates. He's got lovely passing range. There's one incident against Stuttgart. He opened up his body and he hit a cross-field pass. That's what you want to see. Another plus point is he's obviously left-footed people and he's got a good passing range. Obviously, we need just a top-level centre-half, but if we can get a left-sided top-level centre-half, then we can utilise Socrates for, let's just go on the duration of his contract, which is two years, um, and he's 31 at this time. Holding to come back as well. Um, he can play on the left-hand side, so can Koscielny, but we all know they'd be better on the right-hand side. Mustafi the same. So I think he's got a, he's a good player. I feel if you go back to the Europa League tie, pardon me, people, where... Jao Felix scored three goals and got a hat-trick. I don't feel Ndika had the best of games. I think he, if I can remember correctly, gave away a penalty. Um, and a lot of that came from his teammates. But he actually wasn't aware of who was on his last shoulder and, until it was too late. Um, but I think he's a player that we obviously know this respect to Frankfurt. They're going to get a lot of money for their striker, Juvic, or it's actually going to be Benfica. Or I don't know if Frankfurt have an option to make it permanent because it will complicate it. But... They have certain players in that side where I think they can make a decent profit. And no disrespect to Frankfurt, but they must be easier to negotiate with than several other teams. So if we can get him for cut price, I say cut price because we will probably have to play 20 million up minimum. But I think it's worth it based on what I'm seeing from him, man. I know there's a lot of good French centre-halves in the, in the water today. I mean, today's football and always appearing. But I think he's someone to look at, man. He's someone that we could probably structure the payments in a way that it won't really affect our budget for this season. So we can, maybe if we can get a lesser profile like himself, no disrespect to him, I like him. We have more money to play around with the likes of possibly Neres, possibly Barella and all these other names we've been linked with that might not might or might not come. So yeah, man, I thought I'd just talk about a couple comments in regards to everything really. But um, yeah, I've got nothing more to add. So I'm going to get out of your hair, people. People deluded. Thank you for watching.